my name is Martha Zink and I'm with Salon Consulting and this is the fourth video in the series Delve into FileMaker 12. I'm going to keep talking about interface and here I'm going to focus in layout mode on guides and grids. So I'm going to jump into layout mode on this event details layout and we're talking about the features under the view menu. So we're talking about grids, guides, and dynamic guides. And I'm actually going to go over these backwards. So let's talk about dynamic guides first. When I t click on an object and, and drag it, you'll notice that blue lines start appearing all over the layout. And what this means is that this, this object is somehow aligned to these, to these other objects based on these blue lines. So in this case, you'll notice that the category field is lined up with the category label. And based on where I'm holding it right now, it's actually lined up as well with the time start inside of the itinerary portal. And then it's telling me that there's some even spacing going on with other fields. Now this is really cool because it does snap to those different spots and this does make for faster development. Now does it always line up the way I want it to? No. I, I think that there are so many potential uh, alignments that could happen that it doesn't always show the one that you're looking for. But in the grand scheme of things it does make for much faster development. So if I duplicate this field and I start moving it on my layout and I duplicate my category label and start moving that around on my layout, you'll notice that very quickly I have two objects that are pretty well aligned and it didn't really take as much effort as it does in other versions. Now, you'll notice I didn't even look at the points inside of the position on the inspector. I actually couldn't even see them. And it didn't take much work for me to align things properly. Now, uh, fear not, you do still have your arrange and align that you did before, so that if you can't seem to quite line two things up, you can still use the align and the even spacing and, and the resizing to get things the exact way you want. The cool thing is that this is true when you're resizing things. So you'll notice that if I wanted this second category field to be the same thing as time and uh, start time and end time, it does do that while I'm resizing the object. So I think things like that make it really easy uh, for faster development. And even if we still have to do a little bit of tweaking afterward, at least it's minor in comparison to, to what it took before. Now I do want to point out uh, while I'm here in layout mode that one of the biggest changes to developers is the way, the way that things are selected. In uh, FileMaker prior, and things before 12, you'd have to surround the whole object in order for things to be selected. So in, in this case, the event ID, the primary key, actually wouldn't be selected, uh, even if I was touching it. But you'll notice that in FileMaker 12, that's actually very different, and all of these uh, fields in this case are being selected. Now, if you are used to the traditional way of selecting things in FileMaker by completely surrounding them, you can hold the command key or the control key uh, for the piece, for the Mac PC respectively, and then you're required to fully surround an object in order for it to be selected. Now, I think this is one of those features that might feel a little uncomfortable initially, but I think with some time we are going to get used to the ability to quickly select things uh, without having to totally surround them. And this... Uh, this is, again, really common in other software, so I think that once we, we kind of relate the two, I think it'll be an easy transition. All right, so that's a small aside there, but we've talked about dynamic guides, and now I want to talk about uh, just guides, or manual guides as I call them. Here they are. You can show guides and you can snap to guides, and the way that you add a guide is through the ruler on uh, on the layout. So if I click on the horizontal ruler and just drag, you'll notice that I get a blue line and I can move it to wherever I want. And I can do the exact same thing on, on the vertical ruler. Now why these are nice is because you can now be very specific and be very explicit about where you want things to snap to. Um, one of the things I will warn you is that when you have guides and grids all turned on, they will conflict with each other. If they're too slightly too close, then FileMaker has to make a kind of an executive decision as to which it's going to snap to, which isn't always what we want it to be. So I, I would give you the warning that it's probably a good idea to use these individually. Use either the dynamic or the uh, manual guides, and even decide whether or not the grid is something that you want to have on or off. Now when it comes to the guides, you'll notice that there are pink ones and blue ones. Well, if I switch layouts, I'm going to switch over to the event list layout, you'll notice that the only guides that stuck around were the ones that are in pink, which means that they're being shared across all layouts, versus the blue ones are specific to this layout. So if I right click on this pink one, it's here that that's here you can find the option where it says share guides with all layouts. You can also choose to lock a guide. And when you do that, it's going to turn gray. And the idea is that now the developer can't move the guide. 
making it uh, a little more secure in case you accidentally want to click on it and you don't move it by accident. And in that same right click menu you can remove the guide. So that covers dynamic guides and guides. The one remaining is grid. Uh, it is in the view menu. It's also on the position tab on the inspector at the very bottom. And you'll see that we can click on show grid and you can choose whether or not you want to snap to grid. And now you get to choose the, the major and the minor grid spacing. So as I move my objects around, they are actually snapping to this grid, which is really nice that it'll actually move that quickly. And the minor grid steps are these little gray lines that you can see here at the top, and they're actually throughout the layout. They're just harder to see in different parts. But that does give you a, a good level of, of um, control on how you can snap things, whether it's the guides or the grids or even the minor grid steps now. Now be aware that we have lost the uh, the T-square with FileMaker 12, but I think what we've been given is a slew of tools that you know kind of put the T-square to shame. I mean, we have all these new ways of of dynamically aligning things, and then uh, you know T-squares really were replaced by the uh, the guides or the, the manual guides, like I said. That uh, that is the feature set when it comes to guides and grids. Hopefully, you find them useful. I I do sympathize with the the developer and that it's going to take a little time to get used to. I think the, the more time we spend in FileMaker 12, the better it, it will get. And I think that the, the benefits do outweigh the, the stresses of learning a new technique for, for using a, a layout mode and moving things around. Um, let me know how you're using it. Leave some comments on YouTube. And I look forward to showing you the next video. Thanks.